喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵
it really helps you see things three-dimensionally and I do have a small background in doing ceramics as well um, and it's it's helped tremendously of just being able to see things three-dimensionally so I could imagine what Edmund would look like just but just by looking at this photo reference what he might look like from his profile which is just a side view of his face um, so I I'm saying this to tell other artists who are learning and trying and growing, um, as we all are, I still am, that trying different disciplines of art can only benefit you. Trying different interests can only benefit you and your main practice too. It's not just a side hustle. It really does get reflected in um, every bit of art that you do. So that nose is basically done. Now remember, I'm going to say this over and over again. Remember who you are and that when you do fine art, you finish it up to 90%. You are not done. There is still 10% to do when everything is done, which you will see when this one is done. So that nose looks done. It's not done. All right. His eyes look done. They're not done. You want to make sure everything is done or you think it's as close to done as you can possibly be and then you go in and you like add little highlights and little details and little tones to make sure everything looks like they belong together because you saw that with pastels we start from the top right and I'm going down to the left side and by doing so like it doesn't necessarily match because it's one section at a time so I finished the whole eyes first and the nose first and then this eye first see I'm going in with the whites I'm just kind of like constantly going back and forth back and forth trying to make sure everything just like coexists really well on the same world in the same plane oh gosh those eyes did you see those eyelashes do you see those eyelashes something people don't really know you see there's a line between like the highlights and the eyes sometimes there's those are just the reflection of people who are taking photos of you or there's like eyelash shadow my favorite part of eyes is when you can see the eyelash shadows it's just so so pretty all right I'm doing the hibiscus here, one hibiscus, hi, one hibiscus at a time. <laughs> she really wanted bright colors, so I'm going with the fuchsias. I pulled out all my fuchsias, brightest, 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 and I'm just playing with those and using just those. Um, the reference photos don't necessarily look that bright and bold, but at the same time, like, man, why not? <laughs> doing the leaves, coloring them in. With the flowers and the leaves, I've been using more of the pencil and building layers. Um, it definitely takes more time than using the pan pastels, but I do feel like that build, it, it allows more control and, and growing in layers. Oh, love that little shadow I added there, you know, just tooting my own horn. But yeah, so you so see, yeah, I mean, I'm using for bigger areas like the petals where it is softer, they do blend really well together. I'm using the pan pastels and blocking out the major color groups and stuff and then going in with the pencils and getting in those details and like smoothing things out and like highlighting certain things bringing in stronger pops of color because the pan pastels if you do it if you layer it you can definitely get that but with the pencils it's just like immediate you can see the immediate change in that just the, even in the yellows which is the same color but with the pencils it just like oh just concentrated and like way easier to blend oh that blend you guys like that blend i like that blend look at that blend look at them petals mm, i like me some details you know there's the cookie monster and then now there's just like the detail monster nom 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 oh so into the colors of these flowers if you've been to hawaii you know that that the yellow hibiscus is the seed flower um and funny thing enough is that hibiscus is not um it's not a natural flower in Hawaii. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Hey, babe. My husband's just sitting there. Um, what's it called? Invasive species? Is that what it is? Hibiscus? It's not invasive. It's just, it's not, it's not from here. So what's that called? Invasive? Oh, I guess it's invasive. So yeah, hibiscus is a state flower, but it's not like from originally from Hawaii, which I think was super interesting for me to learn during my time here. Um, but man, do they flourish in Hawaii. I've got hibiscus in my front yard. I've got some yellow hibiscus, but it's different. It's like a yellow and a dark purple. Uh, lots of white hibiscus in our neighborhood. They're just like, when they bloom, oh, 
when they bloom, it's just like a sunset inside a flower. It's just so pretty. Anyways, um, blues inside the leaves. So the blues are basically the reflection of the sky. And then you can see the darker areas is where the shadows are really hitting. So I like to map it out and then going in with the details. Leaves are not just flat, thin things. They're thick. They have dimension. The side of the leaf is where you see the highlight, you know? So I'm drawing in again, like, if you think three-dimensionally, that's, like, what makes it pop out. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense, you know? And if you look into, like, the shadows of things, you have to really, I think, a really strong artist. I'm not saying I'm super strong. I still am working on this, too. What we do is we, we observe right? We observe our real world and we look at how things work. And that was an invaluable lesson I learned um, with a drawing teacher I had in high school where he he made me draw a basket and I was just drawing what I saw. But he was like, no, 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 no. Really know how this basket is weaved. And our job is to capture that essence to make it look as realistic as possible. You have to know and understand the mechanics behind it. So with leaves and petals, like I spent plenty of time just staring staring observing looking details where does it grow from like the thick touching it touching it getting observant i feel like artists were like you know there's a lot of really amazing scientists who are also talented artists because they're just so observant right we're just observing the world around us and and just trying to capture and and admire nature it's a great homage i think to nature and all all its beauty I remember going to like the zoo in San Diego and like I, my favorite thing is to draw the animals. They do such funny things that you can't really capture in a photograph maybe or um, I don't know. I think drawing it just like you could get more of the essence of the moment. Oh, I'm done talking. Ta-da. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Go ahead and hit subscribe, leave a comment or you can visit my website or Instagram in the description below. Thank you.